In this video, you're going to be learning how to create variables that could house a single value and also a variable that could house multiple values, which is also known as a list or an array in other programming language. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is open up the terminal and then you want to type in R, enter, and then we're in the terminal version of R. And so let's start by creating a variable. Let's say a variable called color, and then we're going to be assigning a value of blue. And notice here that to create a variable, we need a less than sign and then a dash. And so that is equivalent to an equal symbol in other programming language such as Python. Okay, and if I type in color again, I will get the value of blue, which I have assigned it just a moment ago. And if I update the value to be red by assigning it again to the same variable, and if I type in color, it will now be updated to red. And so notice that in the first time here, I initially assigned the value of blue, but then if I assign it again to the same variable, the color will be updated to red. Okay, and so let's say that I would like to create now a variable that contains multiple values. Let's say we create a variable called colors and then less than dash. This is equivalent to an equal, right? And therefore I will be assigning it to be, uh, we're gonna make use of a C function. So blue, red, green. And notice that I will have to close it with the closing parenthesis. And so notice that we have a C and then a opening and closing parenthesis. And then each element here will be denoted by the single quotation or also a double quotation. So depending on your own preference, you could have either single or double quotation, but don't mix and match, right? Don't start by a single ending with a double. Okay, so have consistency here. And notice that you have a comma to separate the values. And let's hit on enter and let's type in colors. And so now you're gonna see the three values that you have assigned to it in the C function here. And so the same concept also applies to numbers. So let's say that we create a variable called scores and then we have also the C function again. And then we have the values of 100, 80, 90. And then we hit on enter and then we type in scores, and then we get the values that we have assigned to it, 100, 80, and 90. Okay, so now that we are able to create a variable that contains several values, let's now try to select particular position or location in the variable. So for example, if I would like to select the color blue, red, or green specifically, I could do the following. Let me show you. I could type in colors and then I'll use the bracket. And then inside the bracket, I'm going to put a number of one and let's see what happens. And so you see that when I put a number of one, it will be selecting the color which is at the first position. And if I do the same thing by changing the number to two, I will be getting the number or the color at the position number two, which is red. And if I do the same thing and change the number to three, I will be getting, can you guess which color? You're correct. I'm going to get the green color. Okay, so position one, two, three. And the bracket will be kind of like a, we can call it as a slicing mechanism where we will be essentially slicing the particular variable into several segments whereby we could select the particular segment by specifying the exact number that we would like to select. So as I've already shown you to select at position one, two, or three. Okay, so congratulations. You're now able to create variable containing a single value, several values, and also you're able to select particular members or segment in the variable. And so please stay tuned for the next tutorial and please support the channel by smashing the like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and also make sure to hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science and please enjoy the journey.